Harry's Wife, Part Ninety Nine Point Two Two. The Sugar Lumps Fight Back. Hello, I'm H. G. Tudor. Continuing to explain to you about all matters narcissism, utilizing the prominent example of Harry's wife, and we now turn to the Daily Express. As always, I leave it to you to make a determination about the veracity of the material. But here is an article by Matthew Dooley. The headline reads: "Sussex Squad, yes, for it is they, vows to fight back." For Harry's wife, as fans hail bombshell, new documentary. Harry's wife's fans on Twitter, particularly toxic group of individuals, have vowed to fight back against bullying, which they have compared to the firm's treatment of Princess Diana. No, Diana, Princess of Wales. The uproar began after royal commentator, the improbably named Omid Scobie, took to Twitter to laud HBO's new documentary, The Princess. The film details the life and death of Princess Diana, no, Diana, Princess of Wales, and the British public's attitude towards the royal family via news footage from the time. However, many were quick to draw a comparison between the late Princess of Wales and Harry's wife, I think the only comparison that exists is that they're both female, isn't it? And that they married a prince. Royal commentator, improbably named Omid Scobie, lieutenant of Harry's wife, quoting from the documentary said, When you put a modern person in an ancient institution, they will be destroyed. But once an institution starts destroying people, it's time to recognise there is something fundamentally wrong with that institution, and not the people it destroys. Have you watched The Princess yet? Well, improbably named, let's have a little look at Kate Middleton. Oh, look, she's alive and well and thriving, doesn't look particularly destroyed from where I'm sat. What about Captain Mark Phillips? Yes, divorced, but destroyed? No. What about Sophie, Countess of Wessex? She came into the royal family. And she, she was a modern person, put in an ancient institution. Has she been destroyed? No. So quite simply, you, spouting the claptrap that your mistress dictates that you ought to do, continue in your role as lieutenant by engaging in the Diana duplication. The problem is, Diana had emotional empathy. Harry's wife has not. Diana had natural charm and magnetism. Harry's wife has not. Uh, yes, Diana, Princess of Wales, had some problems, and yes, she had difficulties with the royal family, but she also understood the role of service. She understood the necessity of not attacking the Queen, for instance, something Harry's wife is unable, as a consequence of her narcissism, to grasp. So the comparison is an odious one, but it's been done as always, because Harry's wife believes that she's Diana 2.0, driven by her narcissistic delusion. Returning to the article, Harry's wife's fans, some of which of course are bots, took to social media to compare the documentary with the Sussex's departure from royal life. Some went so far as to vow to fight back against the firm. Ooh. Replying to Mr. Scobie's tweet, one user, Benedicta Weir, at Adsdo72, said, I have watched the film. It's gripping. We'll fight back this time. They'll not get away with the bullying harassing and abusing Harry's wife and Harry, a shameful, ridiculous, and purposeless institution. If it's ridiculous and purposeless, why do you continue to comment upon it? And why is it that you talk about your Princess Harry's wife? That's the title that she obtained from the institution that you loathe, you nincompoop. But of course, how are you going to fight back? What are you going to do? Arrange a peasant's revolt, stand there with your pitchforks and your flaming torches, saying, burn them, burn their curlies, drag them from the palace. No, what you'll do is you'll spend your time sat on your lardy arse, using your fudge-like fingers, banging away at a keyboard, or the screen on your phone, pouring, for, pouring forth the 
bile and vitriol towards other people, engaging in the very behaviour of bullying, harassing and abusing that you claim that your queen and her poodle are subjected to. Naturally, these dimwits, part bot, part individuals who become invested in the story of Harry's wife because it gives them a break from their own empty existences and become disillusioned as a consequence of her failing to become Queen of the United Kingdom and therefore spend their empty days trying to fill them up by spewing vitriol and behaving like the trolls that they don't believe that they are. Continuing with the article, CNN writer Lisa Respers France said, sobbing watching the princess, it's sad to think that women who dare to go against tradition are still being vilified. Hearing Princess Diana, no Diana, Princess of Wales, being described as a manipulative liar who loved attention was out to destroy the monarchy sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Others added that they could understand why Prince Harry had wanted to move out of the country to protect Harry's wife, they claimed. Well, he was fed a lie with regard to the issue of protection and, with his emotional empathy, he, hollowed it, he swallowed it wholesale. One Twitter user, tired of this shit, at Tired Tin NYC said, Watching the princess on HBO, I can see why Harry wanted to protect Harry's wife so fiercely. The paparazzi were ravenous, and she never knew a moment's peace. B at Italian B added, I'm so glad that Prince Harry took Princess Harry's wife. Jesus, she's not Princess Harry's wife, you fucking dimwit, away from all that. I'm so glad they're safe. Safe from what? constructive criticism <laughs> oh dear don't 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 come at me with some constructive criticism i can't cope with it it's not like there's people training guns at them and throwing molotov cocktails towards them is it however not everyone wanted to hear from mr scoby on the issue well most people don't want to hear from mr scoby at all one twitter user jan taylor asked why he wrote about the royal family if he disliked them so much while cso9 simply said oh go away Another Twitter user, Laurie J, added that Princess Diana, no, Diana, Princess of Wales, should be left to rest in peace without the release of new movies and documentaries. She said, it's time to let her rest in peace and let her sons live their lives without the constant barrage of movies and documentaries about their mother. Enough already! The documentary uses archival footage and news clips from the 1980s and 1990s to follow Princess Diana, no, Diana, Princess of Wales' life. However, the film does not use commentators or historians to contextualise the clips. Due to this, viewers can watch the newsreels as they were presented at the time. The documentary also focuses on the late Princess of Wales' relationship with the media, something her son, Prince Harry, has repeatedly pointed to when asked why the Sussexes wanted to leave the royal life the media that they continue of course to court hypocrisy during the couple's famous bombshell interview with oprah winfrey prince harry claimed that history was repeating itself he said my biggest concern was history repeating itself and i've said that before on numerous occasions thus you are quite literally repeating history harry and what I see was history repeating itself. Yes, you mentioned it again. But more perhaps, or definitely more dangerous, because then you add race in and you add social media in. What I'm talking, when I'm talking about history repeating itself for the third time, I'm talking about my mother. And there we have it. And of course, the Sussex squad are mobilising. Yes, they're going to order in pizza and sit at their computers and continue in their ha harassing of people that actually try and have a constructive argument with them expressing observations which of course demonstrate what clowns they are however what we also have is the below the line section and let's see what reaction is to these observations about diana princess of wales and the comparison with harry's wife puska writes scooby-doo should find himself another subject to write about the documentary is not showing anything new, and Harry's wife being older than Harry would have watched the funeral and seen him walking behind the coffin. Her claim that she didn't know anything about Harry is a huge lie, since his mother was her idol. She can never, ever be Diana, and Dimwit should realise that. Harry's wife has too much bad baggage. My view today. It's called Distraction. Tom Bowers Burke has exposed Harry's wife. She must be streaming not being able to sue. So what do you do? You light another fire as a distraction. This is what has happened here. It won't work. Love animals. Do stop trying to compare this Harry's wife woman with Diana. Any comparison is as ridiculous as it is insulting to the late Princess of Wales. 
BOCA fan. It's time to let her rest in peace and let her sons live their lives without the constant barrage of movies and documentaries about their mother enough already. Please direct your comments towards Harry and his vile wife. They're constantly bringing back Diana for profit and the Victimisation Act. Topical. If Diana was still alive, she would box Harry's ears and tell Harry's wife to shut her mouth. Omid Scobie Lies states... Omid Scobie has tweeted out things that are a hundred times nastier towards the royals than anything said about Harry's wife. The things he says about William and Catherine are just vile. Justice prevails. Imagine us all giving genderless's mug just one tight slap each. Rivendale 5-7. Oh, go away. She's nothing like another Diana. Diana was from an old aristocratic family. She knew the royals from childhood. She was much loved and liked this attention-seeking woman. She'd have told Harry good and proper not to leap in and not to upset his brother publicly like they both did. He's allowed this woman free reign to insult and destroy his family. Bad move, Harry. The public won't forget this. Justice prevails. In total agreement with Meto. Diana did have a manipulative streak, streak. However, she did not dump or trash her father, her former friends, nor push her helpers around as though she was some big shot. Even cooks in the royal kitchen have commented on how humble and personal she was. She would personally visit the kitchen sometimes for a chat. Contrast this with Smeagol, who demanded staff change the menu when she suspected they included eggs in it to make fun of her. Totty 5-7. There's only one bully, and it's Harry's wife, bullying a young girl and her aged sick father. My POV. Well, squaddies, guess what? Most people are glad they are no longer in the UK. After all, they've turned into lying people who betray their own families. Difficult to comprehend how these people admire such manipulative and narcissistic people. My POV. Thanks for the information, but doesn't really explain how people can admire this dysfunctional couple. Jill Pepper. If Diana was still alive, I don't think Nutmeg would have stood a chance with Harry. Justice prevails. Going by Smeagol's behaviour, Diana is going to turn in her grave. I wish her spirit would come alive and choke the evil out of Smeagol. Barbara Eleven, royal commentator, excuse me while I laugh, of Scooby-Doo, imparts his pearls of wisdom, quoting from the documentary saying, when you put a modern person in an ancient institution, they will be destroyed. Can't wait for that to happen to Harry's wife. We live in eternal hope. And P.S. Diana was much truly loved by the UK. The other one, she doesn't come close. Mirror Miss. Harry's wife's PR team really don't understand British history or the British public at all, do they? Princess Diana would be appalled by Harry's wife's proven lies and misrepresentations about her life in Britain. To link the Princess of Wales in any way with that appalling proven liar insults Diana herself and our memories. And moreover, such presumption does Markle no favours whatsoever. She should be doing good for others and highlighting their needs and achievements. That is what Diana did. That is is her legacy and the comments carry on in a similar vein and funnily enough the fight back from the sussex squad is missing where are they riding to the rescue of their queen and tackling all of these apparently racist and hate-filled comments which are actually measured observations about harry's wife they're nowhere to be found so much for the fight back i'm hg tudor thank you for listening